All right, guys, this is the definition of insanity <laughs> because uh, I'm going to spin this 20 inch convexor around in my kitchen. I put tarp on the floor, got my apron on. It's just, it's easier to do outside and the wind has not been cooperating. Um, and I didn't want to have to do this to my poor kitchen because it's just, you know, we find specks of paint everywhere and it's our kitchen. You know what I mean? But insanity prevails. So I'm gonna do a bloom on this 20 inch round and use the same colors as video 314 because I was so taken with them. And let's just go for it. So here is There's my white. Got some extra in case I need to go again. I'm just kind of dying to see what this looks like as a standalone bloom. Um, switched up my gold to to um, Little Piggy's uh, Harvest Gold because I'm almost out of my Aztec gold from Perlex. So I'm going to start with. Lots of teal, golden teal. What did I do next? I think I did sangria. gold a little bit of permanent violet dark not as much and what is this other color called it is called I have no idea I have to know because the container is covered yeah I found it this is enchantment. All right. Cuddle, cuddle, the cuddle, <laughs> the puddle <laughs> kind of spread out a little, and I want it to be even for the blowout. Let's put a little more. On that side there and there black cell activator this time I have um, artist loft professional series carbon black four to one ratio it's so rather thin actually not thin enough I thought I did four to one I eyeball it so didn't look quite full, so let me just add another little squirt. All right. Here we go. Ah, uh, cool air high fan. Sorry, actually, I'm going to blow a little in the middle first, so I'm going to go uh, low fan.
hella off center, aren't I? Everything's level. That's just yours truly. Still loving the colors. Uh, I'll wipe off my fingers. Debating whether or not to give a puff. I don't think I will. But I am going to let it collect there a little, a little bit. And then push it back to the center. This is one time I do want symmetry. Before we spin. And I'm going to spin real gentle. <laughs> Are you centered? Sort of, kind of. This one a little bit. Can you guys see? All right. <laughs> I'm like so scared to spin. So scared. Let me move like the colors and cups to the other counter. And I actually have like a little piece of tarp, even though I have my apron on to like hold in front of me and kind of protect my floor. I don't know what this is going to do. I'm just going to have it at the ready and make like a little barrier. I could set up like three sides of a box, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just find the tarps easier. All right, baby spin, right? No oh, good, staying, staying on the counter, awfully close to my edge. Let me stop it, take a look. All right, I'm gonna get some parts. The, uh, I'm, I'm like, I came within, like I swear, a quarter inch of my counter. So that's good. I think I'm gonna try and move it back down this way. It reminds me of a wedding bouquet right now. I don't know why. I think it's like the tendrils. All right, another baby spin. Or is that too wimpy? Can't tell. Let me see. Get all my little tendrils off everywhere. I mean, I'm talking to, hold on, let me get rid of this piece of plastic. Go away. Um, I'm talking about like these little things, like the way they're wiggling off. I kind of love that. And I have one, can you guys see it? One right there. Um, the bloom is still not quite in the center, but that's okay because if I had the orientation, it's upside down for you. But the way I'm looking at it, it's super pretty. Um, yeah, I just want this one to come off and maybe just take off a little more paint. <laughs> I'm sure if I was doing this outside in my doggy pool, I could really like spin it and open it up. Um, let me stare at it, see if there's any spots I don't like. I'm wondering if I could still tilt it down. See, like that's the top. I'll put it toward you, like that's the top. If I could just bring it down a smidge. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but... Plus this way I can see how much pain is left if I need to uh, spin off anymore. But, oh gosh, it's super, super slow moving. That's a good sign, that's a good thing. It's bare, it's not even going. It's like, I'm done, lady. I'm done. That's like glacier speed right there. Nothing's really going. So that's good. 
One last look. Let's be a quick video. First try. Get out of here. Yeah. Ta da! Uh, I think I liked it deconstructed better. <laughs> I mean, there's no, no denying this color combination, but um, maybe I'm just so partial to them. Let me wipe off my fingers before I try and touch the camera, and I'll get you guys down for a close up. Here we go. <laughs> that was too fast. I'm like, I'm done already? I can't be done already. I gotta do something else. And I still have colors left, so I had this little eight inch convexo round, um, and I thought I would change up the order of the colors and see what we get. In this one, I got out, obviously it fits in my tub here, and I have not done these in quite some time, so why not? So there's our puddle. And let's change up the order and do permanent violet dark first. Maybe a little more. And then where's that sparkly color? That light sparkly enchantment. Just those two are pretty, right? And then let's do the Harvest Gold. And then the Teal. And a little sangria on top. See what this looks like with the purple background. Mm -hmm. I'll stick with the. I made up white, so activator. I'm going to stick with my black and low fan this time with cool air for sure. That should be plenty. All right, low fan. It was a terrible blowout with the hair dryer. Look at all that coming off the edge. So, so pretty. Let's see if I can stretch things out. I was very timid with the hair dryer for some reason. I don't know why. Couple there. Sorry for the head. Couple there. Let those collect a second. I don't know. Is it as pretty? Is it as pretty? That's the question. I don't. I feel like it doesn't have the drama. We'll see when we spin. Just shows you how important the order is, right? All right. Seems collected. No, I'm just not feeling that. The only part I like are like the cells right here that are brighter. What do you guys think? Go again on that one. Try it with the white. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a do-over for me, for sure. And a lot, there's like no gold to speak of either. Like that was gone. So 
So let's try Let's try the sangria first. And hmm. And then the gold. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna break up the little marriage of the two purples together. Let's break that marriage up. Mm, let's go gold and then enchantment. All right, kind of like the look of that order. Let's see if I can do a better job with the hair dryer. By the way, that's my new favorite thing to do. When you want a little bit of air, keep your air, your um, blow dryer off. Put it where your puddle is, watch. Put it where your puddle is and then turn it on. And then just as it's, cause it takes like, it goes before it really kicks in. And you can get like a little gentle puff of air without it, you know, coming out at full force. Just a little trick I discovered. I'm liking this color combo much, much better. Debating whether or not to give a puff or leave it be. I like the uh, areas of quiet in between. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing my handy dandy spatula. Wait, let me see if I can use this one. You know, that I always have sitting around so I could do this so you guys can see better. Let me do this little operation. Oh, I guess I can scrape because I'm going to spin, so it doesn't matter if I get the edges. There we go. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Yes, that's a much better co color combo. Let's just give this a little spin. Don't need a whole lot. I think this is a keeper. There's a spot of white I want to roll off on the side. Just gonna let it come off there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a keeper. That's adorable. That's my little Easter egg, y'all. <laughs> that is so, so cute, these canvases. Um, I think, I mean, I love the big one, don't get me wrong, but like it loses its cuteness I guess the larger the convexo canvas gets because it has more flat surface area. So it loses, I mean, they're still cool and I love them, don't get me wrong, but they lose some of their cute charm factor the larger they get in size. I think the eight and um, the one I did yesterday with the swipe, well, it was yesterday to me, uh, <laughs> is, is the um, perfect size. I think I'm gonna stop with that, that's a winner. Let me um, go put him next to his big brother and I'll get you done for a close up for real. Okay, here are the uh, close up of the wet results of these two uh, convexo rounds. This one really, really does remind me of a wedding bouquet with the streamers. It really does. Um, I look at this and because I know me, I can tell I was chicken with the blow dryer. But that's okay, you know, I was afraid of making a mess in my kitchen. I can totally tell. 
Um, luckily, I think the um, teal surrounding the bouquet um, is really pretty. So, otherwise, I think I would have blown this out more. Let me come in. There's the center. I mean, it's still great, great, great color combo. Highly recommend. There, the sides. Um, the TLP uh, Harvest Gold is nearly identical to the Perlex Aztec Gold. Um, I've got to see them side by side wet. I really can't tell the difference between the two. But there's that one. Let me come up high. I'm going to do it kind of at an angle so there's no glare. There's that guy. And then this one I'm just calling my little Easter egg. Since Easter's coming, it's just... It's a little Easter egg and it's so adorable. <laughs> it just, this one just makes me smile. There's a, uh, loving the um, cell, oops, get out of the uh, shadow. The cells within the cells there. The light colored purple middle, middle the way the uh, lace drips down the sides. See what I mean though? Um, about the smaller size of these convexo canvases. They're just, you know, this is great, don't get me wrong, but there is something to be said for the little guys um, because of the, the surface area. Just a little Easter mushroom cap or something. Adorable. I'll be back with the dry results. Hey guys, I'm back with the dry results of this piece. Oh wait, <laughs> it goes like this. There it is, all dry and sparkly, and oh my gosh, resin is going to just look amazing on this. Uh, that's my pendant lights hitting it. Let me stand back. It still looks like a wedding bouquet to me, right? Like, toss the bouquet. There's that guy. I'm really uh, quite pleased with it. Looks amazing. In love with these colors. And then... Um, this is the little eight inch round we did. Very, very adorable and cute and fun. Um, so much so that I did another one off camera uh, at the end of that video because I had leftover paint. So I did another one, it's this guy here, also adorable. Kind of like twinsies. <laughs> they're like my, my Easter mushrooms because they're really not egg shaped. And by the time you see this video, at least Easter will be over. And then I did, with the very last of the paint, I just did a little cute little five inch round bloom. All of these will go up in my web shop. And I wanted to mention that um, if you see something you like and you email me or shoot me a message, uh, you can probably get a little slightly better price than you would from my web shop. And, um, I do accept partial payments in $100 increments per month um, if you want to buy something larger uh, and don't have that kind of cash up front. So something to consider. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace and love, and uh, peace out.